Welcome back to my channel. This is Nivish Games. In this tutorial, I'm going to present you how you can customize a loading screen in this roaming style. Now for my game, it's themed with some mysterious ram sheep. So I use the sheep icon as the repeating pattern. Let me show you how to make such a background picture. First, you need to have a pattern. For example, let me do a screenshot of my boy. Then you go back to Photoshop, create a new canvas and paste the picture here. Now we select the area that you want to set as a pattern. Go to Edit, Define Pattern. Done. Next, paint the pattern on the canvas. So you will use the painting tool, but switch the color mode to pattern. Here we can find the pattern we defined just now and click on the canvas. This is how it works. Right, let me paint with my predefined sheep heads. Once you have done everything, enlarge your picture to 1920 times 1080 or a similar size as you want. Now we go back to Bucking and open up the Sprite tool. Add your first frame and select the picture from your saved location. Drag it to a position where its bottom right corner overlaps with the corner of a screen edge. Now add the second picture. Copy your first frame and paste it on the second frame. Set the animation runtime. Drag the picture to the top left corner like this. Good. Now we run it to see the moving speed. Alright, last step. Go to the layout tool. Click on the loading tab. Duplicate the default profile because you're not allowed to edit the default one. Here you can add a part and pick up the sprite we created just now. Additionally, you can add anything including blinds, text and more animated sprites here. Let me show you how I made this little guy. First, we create a blank map. Dye the terrain to white. In the rendering setting, set the sky model to blank. So now you have the clean stage. This can also be done in Smile Game Builder, which is easier because it doesn't have such a rendering effect so the picture to be captured will be more flat. Now we place the boy, select the motion you want him to perform. Uh, I'd like to capture the running motion. Next, you should find this free little program on Google. It's called GIFCAM. Um, select the capture area and set a higher frame rate. Record it. Okay. Now we drag and drop it to Photoshop. And you'll find that Photoshop has a split the GIF picture into single frames on each layer. This is super handy. What we need to do now is to cut out each of the characters. Um, color it. And save it as separate PNG files. Finally, the most interesting part. Add each picture to a frame of a sprite. This could be exhausting, but it will be worth it. My sprite has 31 frames. 
took me about 10 minutes to complete. Alright, and that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you find this video inspiring. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.